Congresswoman Betty McCollum drafted a letter. Uh, it is addressed to President Obama. She calls uh, for the establishment of a special envoy for the protection of Palestinian children. Have you, first of all, have you seen this letter? Um, I certainly wouldn't speak for the White House and the manner in which they would respond. Um, broadly speaking, uh, we don't want to see any children under any threat. Um, children should be allowed to live freely and grow up to live normal, productive, healthy, happy lives. That's a very controversial policy. Yes. <laughs> but it's true. You're going out on a limb. It's true. It's true. And, uh, and as I said, we want to see affirmative steps by, by all the parties to restore the calm and the, and the movements <clears throat> forward here. She cited that generation after generation of Palestinian children have grown up under occupation, the sense of despair, no opportunities, all these things, things that you really agree with. It's, as you said, it's not just to the secretary, it's addressed to the president. Right. I'm not going to get ahead of how the White House would respond to this. Uh, but in general, obviously, we want to see um, the kinds of conditions uh, there that can move us forward to a two-state solution, a productive path forward here, and leadership on all, all sides to help us get there so that children on all sides uh, can live normal, happy, healthy lives. I mean, obviously, that's, that's the whole reason why we still consider or still uh, f favor moving towards a two-state solution so that there can be a more, a p more right. peaceful future for kids. So now that we've nailed down that you're pro-child, um, which is always good to know, uh, can we move on to something else?